All right guys, so as promised, I'm coming back to the uh, Gnarly FPV Primo 3 frame. I've been, uh, it's been sitting in this for a little while and I apologize to Gnarly FPV. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video on the original Primo, I'm going to do the transfer from this, uh, this is the Yushin Twig. And I, as you know from that video, I changed the motors to these beta FPV motors, but when I do the, tr the frame transfer over to the Primo frame here, this one here, pretty nice as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and put in the new gnarly FPV motors that I showed you earlier, and these are the uh, 1203 7000 kV. So it's kind of a kind of a high kV. So for example, the ones from Beta FPV are 1204 5000 kV, and I was running this on a three inch prop on 3S. So I think at 7000 kV, I'm going to probably stick to a 2S setup like a 2S450. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and take all the parts out of this guy. And uh, that, that's not terribly interesting. Basically, unscrew the motors, um, unscrew the stack, and you know, pull the top off, and unplug the motors, and take the screws out for the stack. And what you'll get is the flight controller, ESC, and the video transmitter, and the camera will be all connected together along with the battery lead. And just move it over to the new frame. It's going to be pretty similar to the way the original Gnarly um, Primo, uh, one for 65 millimeter props. That's uh, basically this is basically a bigger version. So this will take three inch props instead of the 65 millimeter props. And I'll get all the parts in here, and we'll take a look at it, explain the differences, check out the weight, all that. And so I'll be right back. All right, so uh, here it is, all put together. Pretty easy, actually. I didn't have to do any soldering whatsoever, moving the parts over. Just want to point out a few things here. Just like on the previous gnarly Primo frame, um, there's only two connection or two points where the flight controller is mounted in the back here and in the front. You need a longer screw in the back here with this extra board for the VTX. And then there is this um, little 3D printed TPU part here that kind of holds the VTX in place, and that was a part that I didn't get earlier on the first Primo video. It looks like this. And that must hold the two boards together on the inside. And you do have to make sure you're managing your wires um, properly. So I have them all twisted up here and out of the way so they don't get chopped up by the propeller. And if you're wondering about this uh, receiver antenna here, I changed the SPI receiver antenna. That's going to be in a different video, so stay tuned for that. Look, be on the lookout for that one. We'll see how the reception is on this new antenna versus the old standard uh, Crazy V antenna for the SPI receiver. I just uh, installed the camera here into the pod. Kind of wish there was a little bit more camera tilt. It um, could be a little bit higher. And just plugged it into the uh, VTX board right there, pretty simple. Again, no soldering done. Swap the motors out and just plug them into the bottom there and put the props back on. And these are the new uh, 1203 motors. I'll be running this on 2S. I um, did mount the battery strap like so, so the battery will be sideways or toilet tank mounted like this. And you do have to be careful about the USB port, but it does appear that it is not in the way. All right, so this is uh, what it weighs with the props on, 57 grams. Now, when you uh, the original Yushin twig with the, the Beta FPV motors, I think was around 55 something, but without the props. So we have to take the props and the, the weight of the props and the screws off. So I'm gonna go put all those on here, eight screws along with the props. I think the plastic bag is not that much. So that's about seven, let's say about seven grams. So take uh, this weight here, 57, take off seven. So it's about basically 50 grams without the propellers. And so from the previous configuration uh, as the Yushin twig to this configuration here, um, it's a, losing about five grams, and that's because you're losing all those screws for that's holding the stack on and that canopy. Um, also, I think this frame weighs a little bit less overall. 
you are gaining weight from this TPU canopy, I think that's going to be a little bit heavier. And I think these motors at 1203 versus 1204 are going to be a little bit lighter overall. I think that's where you're seeing the 5 gram weight difference. But yeah, it should fly pretty good on 2S. So we're going to fly it on on 7000 kV, uh, 450 2S. So this is the one that we're using the Tattoo 450. So that's 29 grams. And then all together, battery drone coming in at 86 grams. So shouldn't be too bad for a three inch setup. So let's just have a little listen, see what it sounds like. It's a, can I tell that on 2S, this tune on default pids is a little, on the, I would say loose side, so you can definitely raise the gains, for sure. And I can tell that this motor seems to draw a lot of amps, at least on this prop. You can see the uh, voltage sag there. And I can imagine on 3S it's going to draw a lot more power. But the tune ain't bad. You can see the bevel. The, there's a lot of ultra sag. Let's see here. Let's just kind of cruise and let the voltage come up again. 7.4, 7.5. So on a 452S on this motor and prop combo, probably not going to get the best flight time. We'll see how it goes. I think going to the 1204 on a lower KV on 3S is going to give you more efficiency. Yeah, you can see all how much it sags on this motor. Yeah, it's a little, a little bit of wobbles there. Could be partially due to the voltage sag. I may, I may need to turn on the uh, PID compensation or voltage compensation. And it looks like we're getting close to the end of the battery already. Pretty short flight time, two minutes. You guys know how much uh, flight time I got before on the 3S350 on the Beta FPV motors. I could probably stretch this out a little bit more. And I'm at 7 volts now. <laughs> then we're going to have to land here. About 3 minutes of flight time. 2S. Let's just say this would be my uh, first choice of, of a motor on a 3-inch setup. I think this might do better on a 2.5-inch prop, a 3-bladed 2.5-inch prop, maybe on 3S. Uh, if you're interested in that kind of combo and this motor, let me know in the comments below. Maybe if I have enough interest, I'll test it out. Until next time, guys. Talk to you guys later.